everyone. Emmy Lou here. Emmy Lou here. I want to make sure you can see. We're going to do a killer whale today because I've done quite a few whales and I just thought, why haven't I done a killer whale? So we're going to do a killer whale today. Really simple. Probably what oh, I'm saying this now, but hopefully it'll be simple. Pencil, paper, subscribe, share and like. Let's go. Okay, what you want to do is start from one end of the paper, it's going to be a big one, and you're going to go, oh. think about the fact that this paper is huge for me, but you might have a smaller piece, but you want to make sure you've got a bit of a gap there, go across, bit of a gap there, it's a bigger gap, and then what you want to do is touch that bit there, it's a bit like an eye, so you're going to go, oh. it's like you're joining up, it reminds me of an eye. Can you see? Uh, like, eye. It's like that. Got an itchy nose today. <laughs> okay, so I've just painted. I've got all paints left. Okay, so think eye. That's what you have to think, eye. And then you're going to touch in the middle. You're going to do this line. Just think line in the middle, a bit like a fish, really. And then you're going to just. I don't know if you can see it right at the end. You're going to make that bigger. Woo! It's a bit bobbly, Ma. So basically, what you're trying to do is go across and then make it a little bit bigger than the eye. I'm going to show you close up. Ooh. Can you see it? Okay, okay, let's go. So. I could just pull it nearer anyway, couldn't I? It's just I thought you might want to see me as well. Okay. Right, and then touch just at the bottom. You want a nice long one. Touch and go. Meow. So this is a fin. So just draw in a nice long fin. You go past the eye. So just, just a nice and wobbly line. And then you're going to go. Doesn't need to be pointy. You're going to go up. Like that. So think about down and an up. It reminds me of another eye or a leaf and then we're going to rub out just inside here. So whatever's inside that fin we're going to rub it out. We do not need it anymore. And then next to that fin we're just going to go touch that there and you're going to go across, down, just like that. So you've got two fins. You've got one there and one behind him there. Then what you want to do is they're quite Synonymous, I can never say the word, so I just said very well known for having a big white bit there. So they're mainly black and they've got like this white, gorgeous kind of shape on their face. Now, what you want to do is touch just here, just there. Can you see? So just there, and you do a little line, little line, and you're going to go up. All you're doing is creating a shape. So it's a shape a little bit like that. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine, it's fine. Just a little bit like that. Then what I want you to do is touch the end. So you're touching the end and you go, Meow. oh, my pen's running out. And then touch about there and you go down. So this is his tail and it's smaller because it's in the distance. And then we're going to join these two up. I kind of made them a little bit like rounded at the end just because it kind of looks cool and you can rub out where it joins because it's obviously part of its body so you don't really need to have that line and then we want the fin on the top but we don't necessarily want it to look like a shark and they're quite long it really the fins but we're going to go up a little bobbly bit and then down if they're really I suppose if they're really pointy, really pointy like that, they tend to look like sharks. We've got to be a bit careful. And then just maybe do a line there. I thought it would be cool to do like a background, but I'm not sure. I'll just keep it, I might just keep it simple for now and see how we get on. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to get my paint. <laughs> I didn't actually, wasn't prepared. So I've got acrylic black paint and water and a brush but you can use a watercolor pencil you can use you can 
use chalk, you can use whatever you like, but I'm just doing paint because I haven't used paint this week, so off we go. <laughs> really nice to use paint as well, it's so relaxing. So I'm just gonna, when I paint, I always outline it first. It's just hot in here, so I can't talk whilst I do it, so it's probably good for everyone else, isn't it? <laughs> and that's a great way of getting a, stri um, a straight line because this brush is not the best brush ever, but because I've done a watery black, oh no, well, it might look quite nice actually, because I've done... <laughs> Because I've done a watery black, that's not really the look I was going for, but because I've done a watery black, it's a really nice way of spreading it across. So even though this brush isn't the best, I can still create cool stuff because the black's watery. And because it is so watery, I've ruined, I haven't ruined, but it's not going to be looking great till I can go over it all white. So this normally would upset me and I'll think, oh, I've ruined it. But don't worry, because I haven't. Everything I can go over, especially with paint. That's one of the awesome things about paint. You can paint over, obviously, if you make a mistake, especially acrylic. Watercolour, you can't as much. You might, if you've got lovely watercolour pencils, you might want to go round it and then put the water in the middle. <clears throat> so if you're not sure what I mean, you get your coloured pencil and you colour just the edge really thick and then you get water and spread it in the middle because then you could look shiny. So just about here, I'm going to just do water without the black, so hopefully it won't drip. <laughs> and can you see that it kind of changes a bit of colour? You probably can't see yet because of the light shining on it, but it goes a bit of a greyy colour so it makes it look more like it's 3D, it kind of looks cool. I just go do it sort of thin. Sorry. It's hard to do when you ah. okay, and then the other thin. Take your time with this obviously, you've got ages. I'm just trying to rush just to get you to do it. Pause the video if you need. Ah. Ah. Right. So oh man. So once this, I mean, look, that if your brush is probably a lot smaller than that, so you'll be fine. Once I've let it dry, I can then go over it and it will look really cool. But what I'm going to do, look, it's dripped again. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get some white acrylic paint. So I've got this really big pot here. I'm going to get the white acrylic. I wouldn't normally do this, but just for the video. I'm going to go over, it's a bit like I'm rubbing it out with my white acrylic paint. I'll end up putting it all over myself, I know I will. <laughs> well, but for the video, <laughs> I'm doing it chunky. You would probably let it dry a lot more and then just go over it without water. You never really put the white with the water when you're going over something because you need it thick. And the paper ideally needs to be as white as your paint. But I think for the sake of the video, it's fine as it is. My, my finger's actually dirty, so I'm making it more of a mess. Right, that's roughly what you need. So, what I want to do now is I'm going to um, kind of want to paint the rocks. Do you know what? I'm going to do chalk for the rocks while that dries. So, this is my rock, so I've got a little rock there, and I wanted to draw a really cool starfish, I nearly forgot what it was called. So draw a starfish like that, and then just do a little bobble, and go one, two, three, because it kind of looks quite cool. And then, I won't go around here, because I've got the paint, but I'm just putting rocks, and in between the rocks, I can do some seaweed. And then you can do the bubbles up there if you want. If I had spray paint, I could use it, you know. I could just sort of do a cool background. I wonder if I've got any, no. Well, do you know what I might? No, it doesn't work. Oh, I've got a clip. 
clean them because when you use spray paint it's quite tricky. Okay, rocks. I've had a paper cut. Grey, just to outline the rocks are fine. And then it would be really nice to do, um, oh do you know what, I could do a luminous starfish because it's nice to add a bit of colour into our work. Just like that. Bit of green up here. It's nice to have simple colours and then you've got a tiny little bit of colour in there. That's awesome. And then smudge away. Smudge away. I don't know if you can hear my computer, but it's getting really hot in here, so it's making noise. Yeah. Can you hear it? I think everyone's getting warm at the moment. Okay, right. Once this is dry, what you could do then is you could literally get a white and just do some oh, it's lovely to colour over paint because you could add all the detail in there with the white it just, it just I can't explain it but it it makes me feel really good to just add them in because I think oh yeah and then here if you haven't done this bit you could do a grey in chalk whoa that's really wet still isn't it and then you could smudge in so it looks like the underbelly of the um, you said shark. So what we might want to do is just ignore that because it's shiny at the moment because it's still wet. I kind of want to put something there because it's annoying me. But yeah, that is ultimately my killer whale. Have a go. Definitely try and paint it if you can, and then get some chalk and go over it. Because if I show you it as a Kind of looks really cool like that. Now that white paint there, that will dry and it won't be shiny. So yeah, there we are. There's my killer whale. Have a fantastic weekend and I will see you on Monday. Let me know if you want to draw anything and I will draw it for you. Lots of love. <laughs>